Hello, this video is for students in UW Superior's counseling program to provide an introduction to the library's resources and to APA style of citation. Let's begin at the library's website, which can be found at library.uwsuper.edu. Through the Jim Dan Hill Library, you have access to over 80,000 print books, hundreds of thousands of ebooks, thousands of journals, streaming videos, and much more. You can access these resources by using our library's databases. But first, let me give you a quick tour of the website. Using this search box, you can access our catalog, which contains the library's print and ebook collection. It also pulls in resources such as journal, newspaper, and magazine articles from many of our subject databases. If you would like to search in a subject database, you can use the Databases A to Z list, which provides you access to a list of over 200 databases. If you know the name of a journal you would like to read or search within, you can locate that journal using this link. Enter the name of the journal in the search box above, and you will be directed to the appropriate database. Our librarians have developed many help guides and subject guides to assist UWS students with locating, evaluating, and citing research within various fields of study. Let's take a look at the counseling subject guide. This guide is a great place to start your research in the field of counseling because it directs you to counseling specific sources such as databases, background information, and books. To access a database, click on the title. If you are off campus, you will be asked to log in with your UWS credentials first. Let's go back to the library's homepage to explore the catalog. To conduct a search in the catalog, Enter a keyword or phrase into this search box. Then click the drop down menu next to Select Scope and select Books and Media UW Superior. If you select Books and Media UW System, you can request print books to be shipped to our library from other libraries in the UW System for free. If you are an online student, you can follow this link to learn how to ship print books to your home from any library in the UW system. Finally, click the blue Search at UW button. Here on the results page, we can see that there are 138 results. On the left-hand side, there are many ways to narrow our search using the provided filters. First, let's narrow to Books Only under Resource Type. Then, you can narrow your search to eBooks Only by clicking Available Online, or you can narrow your search to print books only by clicking Held by Library. If you click on a title, you can learn more about this text and access this ebook. To view the ebook, look under View Online and click the available blue link. This will take you to another database that contains the ebook. To save this book, you can email this record to yourself or send yourself this permalink which is a permanent link that will always get you back to this book record in the database. Pro tip! In any library database, never use the URL at the top of the page to get back to the resource later. It will not work. Always look for a permalink. Going back to our original results page for books, to access a print book in the library, like this one, you will need to take note of the book's call number, which is a list of letters and numbers that will tell you where to find the book in the library. If you need assistance locating a book, you can ask a staff member at the front desk for help. You can use the catalog to search for other resources than just books about your topic. And you can do this by selecting the scope of articles and more. Notice how we now have over 16,000 results. To save you time sorting through many unrelated results, I recommend using the counseling-related databases outlined in the Counseling Subject Guide instead of the catalog to find journal articles. If you choose to use the catalog to locate journal articles on your research topic, be sure to use the filters on the left-hand side to your advantage. Now let's talk about APA style. 
APA stands for the American Psychological Association, which is the largest professional organization of psychologists in the United States. The APA regularly releases new editions of the Publication Manual of the American Psychological Association, which is in its seventh edition and contains guidelines for citing and writing in APA style. This style is most often used in the social sciences, such as psychology, education, and sociology. You can find the print manual in the Jim Dan Hill Library at the front desk. And there is also a citation guide available here online at apastyle.apa.org. If you click on Style and Grammar Guidelines, you can see a few highlighted guides for writing and citing in APA style. First, let's take a look at how a paper is organized and formatted. If you are ever unsure how to format your paper, this is a great place to quickly look up APA's guidelines. Let's see what an APA style paper looks like. Right away, you can see there is a title page with the paper's title, the author's name, information about the department and class, as well as the date. Each page is numbered in the top right-hand corner and double line spacing is used. If you have used APA style in the past, you may be surprised to not see a running head or a shortened version of the title in the header of the paper. The newest edition of the APA manual does not require students to include a running head unless your instructor specifically requests it. Scrolling through, you can see in-text citations that are in parentheses and include the author's last name and the year the source was published separated by a comma. There are multiple headings seen throughout the paper. If you include headings in your paper, be sure to refer to the APA manual to check how to style each level of heading. Finally, as we scroll to the end of the paper, you can see a bibliography labeled References with all citations used in alphabetical order by author's last name or by organization's name. The first line of each citation is flush with the margin, but each subsequent line has a hanging indent. To use a hanging indent in Microsoft Word, highlight your entire references list. Find the paragraph settings. On a PC, you will see this option in the toolbar, and you can click the arrow to open the menu. Then, under indentation, click the drop-down menu below Special, and choose Hanging. Finally, click OK. On a Mac, click Format and Paragraph to find the same paragraph settings. Using the online version of Word, in the Home menu, click the three dots at the end of the toolbar and select Paragraph options to find these settings. Now that you are more familiar with how to structure an APA-style paper, let's head back to the APA's website to review how to cite these sources. Clicking on Style and Grammar Guidelines, Click on in-text citations to double check special cases of in-text citations that do not follow the traditional author last name and publication year structure. If you click on basic principles, you'll find a few great checklists that can help you determine when in-text citations are appropriate and how to cite them. When writing your full citations for your reference page, you can head to this guide in the style and grammar guidelines to see examples of how to cite many kinds of sources. Here you can explore various topics about the reference list, but this reference examples guide will be most helpful. Remember, you do not need to memorize APA style, so be sure to bookmark this page in your web browser. When writing a full citation for your source, you will first need to determine what type of source it is. If you are not sure, you can always consult a librarian for assistance. Once you have determined this information, you can check for a citation example in this guide. If you do not see the correct example here, be sure to consult the print APA manual in the library. One source you will be citing often in your papers is a journal article. Notice how each author is listed with their last name first, followed by their first and middle initial. Then comes the publication year, followed by the article title, which will only have the first word capitalized, as well as any word that comes after a punctuation mark, such as a colon. Next, we have the title of the journal in italics, with each word capitalized. 
as well as the volume and issue of the journal. Notice how the volume is italicized and the issue is in parentheses. Finally, we have the page range and a live link at the end. That is the DOI, which stands for Digital Object Identifier, and is a URL that is unique to this journal article. Always include a DOI if you have one available. If you have any questions or if you need assistance with your research or citing an APA style, please contact a librarian. We are available by appointment through the Ask a Librarian page on our website, and you can schedule an appointment here. We are also available by email at askref at uwsuper.edu.